The weekend is finally here. And it looks like a beautiful day. But it's supposed to call for thunderstorms. But it looks really nice out today. It's calling for thunderstorms later. But I don't know. Okay. Going come up with a good philosophy for today. I guess the weekend is here is the best philosophy I can make. I don't know. The weekend's here. The weekend's here. Party weekend. If the weather stays nice, should be nice to have a pool party. I think. I think. I think so. A tree falling on your home. Oh, there you go. Saturday morning. We're gonna have a pool party. Enjoy Ontario's weather, Cottage Country. Scoping for almost a week. Go, Lise, go. <laughs> yes. I don't like. Uh, do you like the Lise? Are you from Ontario? The Leafs will never win. They will never win. Hey, from Michigan. Is that no? From. Is that? Muni. Oh, Germany. How'd you hear about the leaves? I heard about Toronto Maple Leafs and Red Bull. So they have Red Bull in Germany, too? Are you serious? You must love Canada, then. I turn the radio down. Have you heard of the face kiwi before? Do you think you know where one? How do you know about the Toronto Maple Leafs? Hey there, how are you doing? Thanks for popping in. Saturday morning here in Ontario. I don't know what time it is. Almost 10.30, I think. So it's a Red Bull. Oh, are you serious? I play hockey. I registered for girls' ladies hockey this year. Hey from Turkey. Thanks for joining in. I'm going to play ladies hockey Sunday nights. We have really good ladies hockey in Canada. You know that? You know that? I haven't played in about three years. I'm not very good. <laughs> but it's fun. I really love skating. Germany's got... I think kind of my family might be from Germany. From a long, long, long time ago. I think where I'm kind of have... Kind of... Ukrainian, a little bit with my dad's family. That's cool. We could almost know each other from family. We might know each other. I'm serious. I think they left Germany back like before, before all that stuff and went to Holland and then came to Canada. So I think my dad's family somewhere from back there. You might know my family over there. I don't know. I'm serious. Do you believe me? I'm really serious. I did tell you my name, and I don't know if it is German or if it's Ukraine or somewhere around there. My dad's name. <laughs> I had. God, I'm so tired. Though. I had to do my um, all my shopping and had to do my hummus video last night, and. It's so humid here today. I'm like starting to already. I haven't even started working very much. I don't like the Blue Jays though. I like the Blue Jays when I grew up, but they don't even have people watching. I don't think. You almost have to give the tickets to people. 
I have family here at lunch. And and then I don't know how many people are showing up today. I really don't. <laughs> that wouldn't be a big pool party. Um Do you come to Canada? You know more about Canada than I do. <laughs> He's cool. He comes in here all the time. He's from Ireland. He goes to pubs all the time because it rains in Ireland. He's pretty cool. He really is. He's like one of my one of the guys that like come in here all the time and, and then they come in and oh on my phone my phone doesn't rain. They have rain, rain, rain to go to the pubs. It forces them into pubs the Guinness or, or the other good beer. Some giveaway. Oh, giveaways. I thought it said gateways. Toronto's an hour for me. Hey, Karen. Toronto's about an hour. He wants to get some giveaway tickets for the Toronto Blue Jays. No naked pool <laughs> at the Rogers Center. Karen, can you get free tickets at the Rogers Center? Can you get free tickets for me at the Rogers Center for Toronto Maple Leafs? Or for the... <sighs> Come on. Are you serious? She works for Rogers. You think she can get tickets from the Rogers Center? <laughs> Sorry, Karen. There's lots of people that work for Rogers everywhere all over the world. I'll be good. You don't have... You can be just... It's... You can't always be really good. <laughs> what about free Blue Jay tickets? You can give them... Do you have to pay people to take those tickets to the Blue Jays? Karen, you get tickets to the Blue Jays, don't you? You'd be good now. Um, I forget. You're not Adrian. Oh, yes, you. I can. It's hard to read everybody's comments and then remember what everybody said when it's when I'm so tired. Um, you're gonna fly to Toronto? I don't have tickets. I don't have tickets. I don't. You know what? I've never been to the air. Oh, I went to the Air Canada Center. I got Neil Diamond tickets. Somebody gave me for free, and we touched the. Oh no, that was the Toronto Maple Leaf. That was Adrian. F R Adrian. Father Adrian. Is that father like a priest? Um, I went to Neil Diamond at the very expensive tickets for you. Canadians can't get tickets for the ACC for the they go to the corporations. <laughs> um, father, correct. Ha ha ha. Where was that old? Where was that Neil Diamond concert? And you know what? You talk about nosebleeds. <laughs> The Neil Diamond? Nobody can get tickets, and they never win. And I think that makes... Maple Leaf Gardens. We went to the Maple Leaf Gardens to see Neil Diamond because I got free tickets. <laughs> and you could touch... We were like... We weren't in the back, the last row of the old Maple Leaf Gardens. We were in the second last row. But if you put your arm out, you could touch the back wall. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I almost look naked, don't I? I'm not naked, though. I have clothes on. Fires <laughs> is winning everything here. Hey, that's good. My hair will be Pippi Long <laughs> Hey, I do look like Pippi Long talking. Remember that old movie? I was over there somewhere. She didn't even speak English. She didn't even speak English, Pippi Long talking. Well, is it like the... Is that like European hockey? I've never heard of the Red Bulls. Or the Bulls. The weather is really nice. It's beautiful here, but it's calling for thunderstorms, but I don't know where they are. We're in the Sunshine Dome. We don't have... We have a dome here. We're the Sunshine City. So if it's raining everywhere... Prob... Name of the team. <laughs> it's raining there. <laughs> Adrian, Father Adrian's on. He says, we play the champions of European Hockey League. So are you like under the NHL League? That team? That's your... 
That's like ladies hockey then, right? In Canada? <laughs> is that like... Is that like ladies hockey? Hey, Karen. That's great. What's great? Oh, you're... He's a nice guy, isn't he? He's from Ireland, that's why. <laughs> he's so cute. <laughs> I know, he's cute. Father. Father Adrian. At the pub. Can he be like father, like, truck, fire truck, fire truck, <laughs> fire truck, like, fire truck. Try to say that really fast when you're at the pub. Fire truck, fire truck, fire truck, fire truck, fire, fire, fire truck, fire truck, fire truck. That's Robin Hood for you. <laughs> the pub in Ireland with Robin Hood and his merry men. But you cannot compare NHL hockey to no, because it's better. <laughs> Short out your crap. Oh, I'll turn it down. Just give me a second. There's no turn down button on it. It's just hitting it. <laughs> so I better shut it off. Because I need a new radio, Karen. Better. Much better. Is that better? I need to turn it off. <laughs> the volume. It's like the wiring inside, I think, is broken. So you have to, if you hit it to lower, you have to, like, hit it. And then it'll turn back on. Like, I feel like Fonzie and the, what's that movie? What's that TV show? Um, that old TV show with Bonzi. Anyways. <laughs> Take care, Father. Father Tuck. Thanks for popping in. <laughs> He's cute, isn't he? <laughs> Have a great day in the rain, in the pubs, with your flock. Adios, amigo. In Ireland, in Ireland. Have a great day, Adrian. He comes in on scope. Adrian? I don't know. He, he was saying he was F.R. Adrian, so I thought he was Friar, Friar Adrian. Father Adrian, a priest in Ireland. He comes in, pops in. He's really nice. He just pops in and says hello. <laughs> and starts laughing a bit and carries on the conversation. He's a little talkative because he's Irish. And he sits in the pubs and with his flock. <laughs> with his flock. I got a lot of stuff to do, though. I do. I think people are starting to come over around 12 o'clock. What time is it? Like 11? Is it 11? Just a sec. Ten forty-nine. Ten Eastern Standard Time? Is that what time we're on? The time zone? I think so. <sighs> so how many people do you think after yesterday said they were coming? Mmm... Well, uh, maybe at lunchtime. Connie's coming. Christine said she might come if it's raining. Or if it's not raining. Um, so I'd be like four. I should probably have about 10 to 12 people at lunch. And if it doesn't rain and people don't have plans, I hope like 20 or 30 people tonight, I hope. I hope so, because it's, it's really nice out. Unless it rains, but we can always sit under here and we won't get wet. I have... One said... I have... One said she's coming with her boyfriend, I think, as far as... Unless people don't change their plans. And... 
Another one might come. Another one I'm not sure. She didn't answer. And I just the ones on my Facebook from work. Yeah, at lunchtime. Oh, and then, yeah, there's a girl that from McDonald's. Her and her kids. I don't know what time they're coming because I said 4 o'clock. But I said anybody could come any time. So I don't know what time they're going to show up. So I could have, like, be 30 or 40 people today during the day, I think. Did you see all the food I did? Did you see my video of hummus, how I made hummus? I did a, I did a tutorial last night. I got all that stuff that Giant Polly told me. I got like chicken wings. Did you see my video of all that crap I bought? Chicken wings, chips, um, guacamole. I did. I got my beer, my... Um, I was like thinking of... I should have been scoping. I need to scope. And then I could have just like made sure I had everything. Check crackers, cheese and crackers, and some... I know, cheese and crackers, some kielbasa, I'm going to chop it up. Um, I got, he was pretty cool, man, that giant folly. He was like, give me a list of everything. I'll, I'm going to put chicken wings on. I'm getting hungry right now. And then the pizza. I'm trying to think of what else I had. But he's a good suggestion. He must be a party person. Mr. Social. But if I was shopping, do you see people grocery shopping and scoping? Like, if you ever forgot anything, you, like, would just... They'd, like, it'd be, like, trying to figure out what you're going to have for dinner, and people could tell you what they're, what you should... How you can cook stuff. I'll eat it. <laughs> I'll eat it. I got good food. I got some good, good stuff. I'm trying to think of what else. Oh, I got veggies. I got a big giant, uh, I was going to buy like a whole bunch of fruit and cut it up. And then I thought, you know what? What the heck? I bought the, like the big platter. Cause it, by the time you buy all this, the fruit and you buy like the dip and stuff, it's like, forget that. So I just bought the big, big fruit platter so people can have fruit. I bought veggies. I'm going to cut some veggies is what I should be doing right now is cutting my veggies. I should be sculpting how to cut vegetables. <laughs> and do up a platter. I think you just cut the vegetables. So I have a healthy, but I don't want to cut the vegetables up too much because I don't know what the weather's like tomorrow. I didn't look at the weather tomorrow. I saw your scope. I saw your music. That was pretty cool. And down at the um, city hall. I like that. I can. I just gotta do bathroom kitchen cleaning, give a quick sweep, and it should be good. That was a good video. I like it. You sound like really professional. Really professional. I really like it. I wish I could scope like that, but I don't have a camera. I wish I had a camera like that, and I could walk around and do that kind of scoping around town. I have to just watch other people first and, get, and learn how to scope properly. But it's been a week. It's been a week, and I think I've done like 41 or 42 scopes. Lord knows, my flowers know it. And my little hanging baskets. <laughs> They're like shriveling up. They are. Do you want to see how nice it is? Just let me turn it around. Going to the jazz festival later? Oh, that's cool. It's kind of nice out. Calling for the. Let's hope it doesn't rain. Not too bad. I haven't done much cleaning and organizing because I did it all for the last party. So it's not too bad. We could have a party here if it rains. We've got our covering. I can't walk away, but I got my curtains in case we're protected from the sun and the heat. In case it's so hot in here. It's a nice breeze. It's perfect almost. I know I need to move the modem. I've heard of a modem extender. They have it at like Best Buy, I think. So nice out though. And I can bribe people with food. Oh, you know what? Just a minute. Oh my goodness. 
You know what I forgot to do? How do I change it? Does that, did that change it? Is that better? Or is that just my screen? I can't even believe I had that on. Did that make a difference? Because I had it on, when I wake up in the morning I shut the, no, did the screen change color? Because I have it on halfway the light on my iPad in the morning when I open it up. No, because that's the what it's that's is the weather. But my iPad, I keep it low light because it doesn't it hurts my eyes when I'm almost half asleep. It's brighter. Is that brighter for you? Can you see it brighter? Is that brighter? Does it show you brighter? Oh my gosh, now I'm brighter. Oh, does it? Holy crap. I'm telling you, it's like half light. I was like, it's so dark out there. It's like the thunderstorms here. But, um, did you see my hummus tutorial? Did you see my hummus tutorial? It's good. You have to watch it within 24 hours. Well, you have data when you're at home on the line. On the, you know what? I watched that stupid intern, and now it's like on online, and all they kept saying was on the line. You know what? Everywhere I go, oh, just a sec. We have pool toys. We have noodles and like floating chairs and I assume we're going to be in that pool too. What time are you guys coming over? Okay. That's all right. Um, uh, just bring towels. <laughs> Get them from Rita Awesome. All right. So it'll be good to see you guys. I don't think so. I'm going to just throw pizza in the oven. I got some veggies and we're outside though. <laughs> okay. Okay, maybe some do they have like those fold those chairs, those carry chairs, the little portable chairs? Like in the bag chairs? Yeah, if they have that like in the bag chairs and then just their swim stuff and towels. And I think that's about it. I got beer and coolers, pop and food. Okay, good to see you guys in a, in about an hour or so. No, it doesn't matter. Whenever you guys want to come over. All right, see you then. Bye. Six people coming over. What do you mean you're typing as fast as you can? You was it that? You was that? They're from up from Edmonton, um, and so they're coming over with the kids. Are you type? Are you typing with people from work? No, Anne, my sister-in-law, and her family from Edmonton. So I haven't seen them in, in over a year, year and a half. So it'll be nice to have them over. So some company, some people going to go swimming in the pool. With the sharks? Um, it's freaking nice out. I have a bit of a headache though. Do I have a beer or do I take another Advil? That's okay. When was the last Advil? When was the last time I went down there to visit you? You're coming up in a few weeks, so aren't you? No, I did. I visited you in that other place when you had that party. You should have another one of those parties. I'll come down and visit you for a party. You had a really good party. What was that for? I forget. In that upper upper condo party room. That was fun. 
That was fun. You should have an upper party condo room party. <laughs> In your backyard. That was really good. I enjoyed myself. <laughs> now that I have weekends off. Was it nine years ago? Well, you know how much... Now I'm more independent now. I'd go down and have a party. As long as I'm not having a pool party that weekend, I'll go down. <laughs> Don't have plans. Jazz festival. Next year. No. You could have one next year then. Next year. You should have one this year. You don't even need a reason for a party. You can have a winter party. Winter is a fall party. You know how to party. You used to. We all used to. What happened? Did we get old? Now it's like bedtime at 10 o'clock. I have to stay up tonight. I said the party's till 1 o'clock in the morning. Although I was going to put like 10 and I'm like, who has a pool party till 10 o'clock at night? I'm like 11, 1. So that's what time normal parties end at 1 o'clock, right? So if I'm sleeping and push this lounge chair back, they can have a party. You're right. I gotta go do a bit of cleaning. Thanks for thanks for popping in to my scope. What do I have to say now? I gotta go get busy. What do I have to say? Swipe this way for Android. <laughs> this swipe to the left. Let me get my sheet out. Swipe to the left for this. Swipe to that. Follow me on Twitter and on Periscope. And I might scope a party. I will chat with you later. That's awesome. Thanks, guys, for ch popping in. Scoping out. Swipe down to scope out. Chat later. Thanks, guys.